Welcome to my course, Game Development Basics, Week 1, Lesson 10, Ball Maze, Finishing Touches. Our game is really starting to come together, and with a few more features, we could make this a complete game. At this point in the lesson, though, we're just going to talk about putting some finishing touches on this, and we'll move on to the next section. In this lesson, we'll also describe some basic troubleshooting principles and their application, and we're gonna demonstrate some debugging features of Unreal Engine. And we'll round it out by talking about some community resources that are available for you to network with people, talk about issues you're having, or even maybe collaborate. Whenever you're programming in Unreal Engine, it's inevitable that eventually you're gonna come across a bug of some kind. And a bug is really just any unintended behavior that you don't want in your finished product. So how do we find these bugs and fix them? I like to often refer back to something I learned quite a while ago, which is called six-step troubleshooting. This is a systematic way to handle issues with your game and try to find the best solution. And the six steps are define the problem, gather information, identify a theory for each possible root cause, test each theory until a cause is found, restore the system, and then verify the system is functional. And I find that having a good problem solving methodology is key to finding these bugs and getting rid of them as quickly and effectively as possible. One thing we don't want is to fix a bug and then create more bugs with that fix. Now, as you've seen throughout this course, I've been using the print string node a lot to make sure that things are functioning the way that I want them to. We can type print and we can put this at various portions throughout our game to make sure that we are getting the correct inputs or outputs of a function or functionality. And as you know, these are printed to the player's screen, but they're also printed to the output log. You can get the output log by clicking window, output log. I actually always keep mine docked next to my content browser, and we can see here all of those times that we are printing hello and one benefit of this is it shows you which actor was also printing it. When it's in the viewport, you often don't know what is printing it unless that's part of the print string functionality. So here we can see what player or what actor was printing that hello, and that may assist us in troubleshooting. Also in the tools window, there is a debug, and then there's various debug things that you can choose from over here that may help you debug whatever you are trying to fix. If you wanna know more about these, I highly recommend looking them up in the Unreal Engine documentation. We're not gonna cover them at this time, but you're more than welcome to do some independent research. You may eventually get to a point though where you just can't quite figure out the bug. And this is where it's good to have resources. There are many resources on the internet, but these are just some of the ones that I use quite often. I recommend that people always start by going to the Unreal documentation. This is where you can find some basic information about how things should work, and then you can make sure that you're using them correctly according to their intended implementation. Epic also has some Unreal forums where you can ask questions of other people, and the forums are great, and I've seen a lot of problems solved on there, but it's great to have other resources as well. Discord is a great resource for networking with other Unreal developers and also trying to find help with fixing bugs. A couple notable Discords I'd like to point out specifically are the Unreal Slackers Discord, which has a lot of very seasoned people in there, and I find it's a great resource when you're trying to investigate a bug or get help on something or even collaborate with other Unreal Engine developers. Druid Mechanics, which is Steven Ulibarri's community, is also another great resource. I've seen Steven himself react to a lot of people and give them firsthand help, especially when going through his courses. And there are many other discords, too many to mention. I do recommend that you just get out there and try to find a few communities where you feel at home and you feel like you can collaborate with others and ask for help. And the other side of that is, as you get better, make sure that you're paying it back by giving help to other new developers. I also find that Reddit is a great resource for finding help, specifically the Unreal Engine subreddit. A lot of times when I've gotten stuck, I've posted something on Reddit and I found an answer relatively quickly. 
And there's also YouTube, which is a great resource for finding videos and tutorials on fixing various things within your game. And there are a lot of great channels out there that offer amazing advice. So at this time, I want to encourage you to put a little bit more effort into completing this game. We are going to come back to it later in the course and implement some new functionality to it as we learn it. But the point is really just to get it to a state where you're happy with it before moving on to the next section. One thing I've done is updated the endpoint a little bit to where now it's not a cylinder, it's just a little spot of light. And when I go into the light, it transports me to the next level. So that's a little challenge for you if you want to try to figure out how to do that yourself. And that's it for week one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot. In week two, we're going to learn a little bit more about Unreal Engine and we're going to create our next game, which is going to be called Bug Squash. So hope to see you then.